John Lieber, 1 and 0 in this postseason, 12 and 3 this year at the Joe West. Was 2 for 24 in this ALCS. Got him. The Red Sox are trying to become the first team ever to force a game seven after being down three games to none in the best of seven series. The broadcast also available in Spanish by utilizing the SAP button on your television and that has got to hurt anytime especially on a night like this. Here's Ramirez. Shattered bat fly ball right field Sheffield. Two up. This gets the juices flowing and these fans here at Yankee Stadium hoping that tonight is the end of this ALCS. Ortiz grounds to Clark and that'll do it for the Red Sox in the first. The story with Schilling. The ruptured sheath around the peroneal tendon in his right ankle. A lot of talk about him wearing high tops that they found the right type shoes for Schilling. First pitch popped into right. Nixon battling the win, one out. Take a look at the Yankee. Always the indicator as to how a guy feels. It's his command. And in the instant for Kurt, he's got good command of his fastball, but how can he get through his split finger? It's an off-speed pitch, but you still have to use the backside. Rodriguez reaching out, lines to short, two down. Reaching forward, a pop up. And Millar hauls it in, a perfect first inning. He made it look easy here in the Bronx. To the right side, two bounces for Cairo. One up. Millar is on with a one out single. Kevin Millar has the first hit of the night at Yankee Stadium in 04. And a bunt. Testing Rodriguez. His throw, no good. Two on, one out. That caught everybody by surprise, especially Rodriguez on that throw. A sound play right here. A blueprint laid down the left. The third base line barehanded by Rodriguez. But Orlando to pull off and hit a ground ball. And Cabrera hits a line drive, base hit into left. Millar got no jump. He had to make sure it got through, and the bases are loaded with one out. Bellhorn grounds to second. Cairo flips. Jeter in the middle. Lieber out of trouble. And a golden up. Matsui leading off. Sticks the bat out. Pokes it into left center field. Damon is there. One away. Top of this inning. You're behind in the count. Williams pops it up. Two out. Posada trying to become the first base runner tonight for the Yankees. He'll do one better. Into right field. Back at the wall. Is the wind going to hold it up? At the wall to end the inning. He gave these fans a thrill, and with this wind whipping around in Yankee Stadium, that ball got out to the wall and died. Schilling trying to bring it back in. No score. Damon the opposite way for a leadoff base hit. Miller for the first time in this series up in the number two spot. Bounces to short. Right 
to Jeter, two out. Ramirez hits it into right, Sheffield. Inning over, a leadoff hit, a double play followed. It's running down and away. It's a pitch that's really tough on Sierra. A 2-2 now. Sierra strikes out, and that's the first strikeout of the night for Kurt Schilling. Watch how Sierra swings over it. Few the ankle problem here with three days rest in the 2001 World Series. Clark flies one into left field. Manny Ramirez is back for out number two. It's one hit to drive you in, not two. Here's a 1-1. Cairo hits it well into left center field. Ramirez and Damon chasing it. One bounce. There's the extra base hit. A double with two out in the third. Pops up. Shallow center field, and now Damon will go get it. Inning over. Yankees get their first hit. Leap. Ortiz out in front of the plate. Posada, one out. Nixon grounds to Cairo. Lieber settling in. Sleep in November. With two out, Millar hits it down the left field line. Into the corner, Matsui gives it a look. That's a fair ball, and Millar digging for second. The throw, too late. So Kevin Millar in the corner here at Yankee Stadium. A short hop and a good play by Matsui to get it back in. But the plate that comes on, and then he starts the sinker that runs off. That's in the dirt, and Millar will end up at third. Veritek has put Boston on top. A base hit to center, and it's one to nothing in the fourth. Busting at the plate all the time, and that's exactly what Veritek did. He had grounded so many balls in front of home plate, one foul down the first baseline, and he goes out and gets that sinker. Now it's Cabrera off the end of the bat into left field, and that will fall for a hit. Two on with two out, and Cabrera's two for two. It means you can look away more. Never let a pitcher get you out of the way. That's down the left field line. Big trouble. Matsui on the run. That ball is off the wall. Matsui, I think at a moment, for a moment, thought it was gone. It looked gone. Matsui reacted like it was gone, but then had to play it off the wall. And Francona is going to come out and argue. Right now it's 3-0. It could be 4-0 here in a moment if they change the ruling. Oh, it definitely did. Absolutely. It hit that fan in the, the fan. dark blue or black hooded pullover. Oh, yeah. Off that Clear. fan. Four nothing. And it's a home run. Four nothing, Boston. Joe Torrey's going to argue, but the umpire's got it right. A terrific job by this umpiring crew initially getting the call wrong. Johnny Damon pops it in the air to left center field. Long run, Matsui still going to end the inning. The Red Sox with four in the fourth. A huge inning capped on a home run by Fellhorn. Schilling has a four-run lead here in game six. Kurt Schilling is back to the hill this time. He's got a four-run cushion. Bottom of the fourth inning. Rodriguez starts it with a hit for New York. Reaching for it. Slow roller. Miller lets it hit the bag. And it's two on with nobody out.
baseball. Matsui pops it up. Millar will have to drift with it. Now in foul territory for out number one. Right side, Millar knocks it down. It's Schilling having to get over and cover with that bad ankle. Two out. But not here. They want Posada to swing the bat and drive the ball. Second and third, two out. To the right side. Schilling again has to at least go into the area. And Millar gets him off the hook and takes it himself. First two on for the Yankees. Schilling gets around it. Four and up. Here's a 1-1. Miller grounds to Clark. Flip for the out. And we'll go. Ramirez into center field. Didn't get it all. Two out. David Ortiz is coming to the plate. He's 0 for 2 tonight. David with the bases empty. Two out. Into left field. Matsui came in. Now goes back near the wall to end the inning. Another 2 2. Sierra strikes out. Let's go out to G. Under the circumstances, if Kurt Schilling went five effective innings. However, their bullpen, once again, is exhausted. Schilling is at 94 miles per hour on that fastball by the bat of Tony Clark. Look at Veritek standing up, and Schilling hits the mitt. <laughs> I remember one time oh, in the no, second. No. <laughs> Two out, bases empty, one ball, one strike. Cairo grounds to the left side. Cabrera called into action in a perfect fifth inning for Kurt Schilling. Doing his thing. Sixth inning now. Game six. They're not at their best. He still had the ability there to strike out Sierra on a 94 mile an hour fastball. So he's tempering his velocity when he needs it. Nixon strikes out looking to start the inning. Millar looking for his third hit. A rod with the backhand. Just gooses it over to first and out. On the tag by Clark, two out. It up. If, if the Red Sox win tonight, the momentum goes over to their pitching staff tomorrow night. Remarkably. Veritek pops it into center. Bernie Williams. Let's go to the bottom of the sixth inning with a top of the order coming up for the Yankees. Trying to end it tonight. Red Sox trying to force game seven up. Fastball away. And a line drive caught by Bellhorn. Throws on to first anyway, but. Blood soaked sock around that right ankle. Rodriguez pops it in the air to right center field for Nixon. Two out. Enjoying six runs over the first three innings. They're so, quiet now. So far, it took him two starts to do it. He jammed Sheffield. Ramirez went back, comes on, and Kurt Schilling rolls through six innings, who has really been a plus for the Red Sox in this postseason. Into center field and into the glove of Williams. Cabrera retired for the first time tonight. But this is where the ball ended up off his bat. Off some hands. Originally ruled that it stayed in play. What a catch by Sheffield. And Bellhorn follows up that three run home run with an at bat where he is robbed. Close to the ground, but a backhand close to the ground. What a catch. And he did secure that ball. Yep. And he had his glove between the ball and the grass. On the bench in this cold weather with that bad ankle. He's staying warm. And he has pitched brilliantly. And he'll go back out there for the bottom of the seventh. Taking a look.
to the right side for Millar. Millar takes it one out. Matsui 0 for 3. That's ripped into right field. Down the right field line. It is gone. Home run to make it 4 to 1 as the Yankees are finally on the board. He's two and two on Posada. He pops it up. It's Bellhorn underneath it. Two out. A feeble swing by Sierra. He strikes out for the third time, and game six goes to the eighth. It's not only about what how great a job he did today. But those three extra outs that that bullpen has to figure out and get. For the Red Sox in the bottom of this inning. Miller grounds to Clark. And Lieber has been perfect since the Bellhorn. Cairo and Jeter, of which lifetime Cairo is batting 188. Here's a little flare into right. That ball is going to drop. It's a base hit, and Ramirez is on for the first time tonight with one out in the eighth. Clark. Go. It was unsure whether Kurt Schilling would even pitch again this year. Three hours ago, it was unsure if he could get through an inning. That's right. And he got through seven, allowing one run on four hits. Runner goes as Ortiz hits it in the air to right. Broke his bat. And Sheffield has out number two. Leading tonight, four to one. And here in the eighth, the pinch hitter Gabe Kapler against... Quantrill diving stop Jeter can't make a play and it's two on with two out as Kapler's on with an infield hit and when he tried to throw it he reached in and nothing was there but leather this will get another chance runners go on a 3-2 pitch Millar grounds to Jeter the inning is over bottom of the eighth inning rolls in One out, that slow curve gets Tony Clark. One out with the bases empty, two balls, two strikes. Cairo lines one into right. That's a fair ball. Into the corner, Kapler digs it out, but it's a one out double. Base hit left field. They bring Cairo to the plate. The throw into second, it's 4 2. <laughs> Off the end of the bat. Arroyo. The ball gets loose. It's down the right field line. Jeter coming all the way around. It's a one run game. And now we're going to have an argument as Francona comes out of the dugout. He swatted the ball out of a Royals hit. If it's in the process of running to first base, that's one thing. If he intentionally swatted it with one hand or one arm or the other. Should be out. Yeah. Because that is clearly, as Arroyo puts the ball oh, in the yeah. glove, the left arm came down. No. That's not, as you said, Tim, in the process of running. That's trying right. to knock the ball right. out. Right. That and they're going to call him out. He's out. They got the call right again, and they're going to bring Jeter all the way back to first base. And this umpire crew, as this fan base for the Yankees. And a pop-up in play, Veritek. Bronson Arroyo gets three precious outs. He gives up a run. 
It's 4-2 going into the ninth inning here at Yankee Stadium. Why not? He's out anyway. Otherwise, you're out. Right? Otherwise, it's an out. He took a shot at it. And Veritek is on to start the ninth inning. He's three out of four tonight. Cairo flips for one. Safe. So infielders can get the ball out of there quickly. The ball hangs up a bit, and because of that, Cabrera beats the throw. Boy, to watch baseball as Cabrera takes off and no throw by Posada. It's strike two on Bellhorn. Bellhorn walks and it's two on one out. Two and three record here in the game seven. The last win was last year over the Red Sox. Jeter, two out. Here's a two one. Miller pops it up. Jeter says he has it. Wynn plays with it, and the inning is over. Red Sox strand two. They've left seven. Four, five, and six coming up for the Yankees. A leadoff walk. Just bad as a home run. One out. The Red Sox two outs away. Off the hands, he came inside and a pop up. Miller is out. Two out in the ninth inning. Another 3 2 pitch from Fulk. Trying to save it. Two on, two out. And Tony Clark is coming up. Runners go. Red Sox force game seven. A tremendous pitching performance by Schilling. Arroyo and Keith Folk, who does it again. Woo! Gotta make it interesting. And why wouldn't this rematch of last year's ALCS last seven games? The Yankees had a chokehold on this series, up three games to none. The Red Sox have won three straight. Terry Francona made the move, 